Hey guys, it's your girl Najwa. So I just heard that Avril Lavigne and Tigga are dating and people are going crazy because it's a very unlikely match or seemingly b- bizarre match, I guess, from the surface view of it. And because in all of these very um, sort of peculiar ways, they both are linked because, you know, through Travis Barker, through the Kardashians, through Black China, you know, through the record labels and all this stuff, more detective work, more TikTok investi- investigation, whatever. Um, guys, I just want to tell you real quick, Avril Lavigne's um, Let Go album was probably one of my very first CDs, and she was probably one of my very first favorite artist. So I feel like I just have to say this real quick. Leave this woman alone. Leave this child alone. Okay. She might not be the best at relationships. Okay. She might not have what it takes to make a marriage work, but she's just sorting through her crap. We all got crap. Leave these people alone. Even Tyga. He has a problematic past, but still, like that, that just doesn't give us the right to be speculating into these people's lives and relationships and marriages and all the time. I mean, it's, it's so bizarre, but if I'm being really real, very quick, I just feel like Avril Lavigne is the type of person who, um, her spirit reminds me a lot of, um, her name is slipping, but the the lead singer of the Cranberries, that was another one of my first CDs was the Cranberries. She's just got that rock and roll spirit, and that's very rare to see in a woman. It's the reason why most punk rockers, most metal bands, they're made up of men. And I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. It does. But Avril Lavigne was like really one of the first female pop pop rocker, pop punk rockers, you know, doing her thing and being unapologetic about it. She's got that spirit. She's always been young at heart. Will this thing with Tyga turn into marriage with a bunch of kids? I don't know about that. You know, I don't know about that. <laughs> but, you know, every every other one before him has not really been able to maintain this, this spitfire. So, hey, maybe something different is what she needs. Maybe that will be the person who she forms a longer bond with. But other than that, I don't really think in this day and age we can point a finger because I look around, I look at, you know, not just people who I know within my own community and my own circle, but I also look at, you know, just influencers, people in general, vloggers, many of them are not married. And there's a reason for that. (laughs) Because right now we live in a world where being married is really, 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 really hard. And people would rather kind of just engage in, you know, kind of casual liaisons. And that's okay. But um, I think we got to take a step back to just let Avril live her life. You know, if she wants to date Tyga, if she wants to test the waters, if she needs a little um, fun after um, a broken engagement, which mon son, you know, all my love goes to him. You know, SKSK, I don't know much of their work, but I definitely know of them, you know, coming from the Atlanta kind of punk rocky scene when I was in that phase growing up in high school and stuff, early 2000s. Hell yeah, you know, of course. But, you know, yeah, I think we just got to let Avril be, let her do her thing and, um, Yeah, I think she just wants a bit of fun. So just let her have a bit of fun. And when she's ready to talk about what exactly it is that she's struggling with, why she cannot (laughs) either stay in a marriage or stay in an engagement, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, when she's ready to talk about that, she'll talk about it. Or when, you know, her exes, if they if they want to talk about it, they'll talk about it. But I, I do think that at heart, she is one of the coolest, chillest, most beautiful people and genuine people in the industry. It's rare that you get that. It's rare that you get someone who kind of like sticks to, to who they are. 
And the proof of that is the fact that you do not see any of Avril's past partners really just kind of trashing her in public. I think that she's not, um, you know, she's not a clone. I don't think that there is a Melissa. I don't think that she's an evil vixen who's just going around breaking guys' hearts, you know, whatever it is. I just think that love and relationships, marriage, it's hard. It's hard. So, guys, lighten up a little bit, you know, and and let them just let them have the freedom to make their own choices. And I'm sending all my love to Avril, to Mod Sun, and to Tyga. Um, and I hope that they all are well, that they can work through the things that they need to in the best way possible for them and their families. And guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have not already, please go ahead, click the like and subscribe button. Um, click the bell so you know whenever I post a video and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.